Who is the current heavyweight champion of the world? The standard in boxing showcase division is at its lowest in living memory. The current crop of heavyweights are but the latest offering on a seemingly never-ending wheel of mediocrity. Bird, Brewster, Rahman, Ruiz. These names hardly conjure images of greatness. The sport will one day find someone who'll rejuvenate worldwide interest. However, there's little evidence to suggest that'll happen any time soon. I would like to announce my retirement from boxing at this time. I uh, promised my wife that I would retire before the month of May arrived. Uh, we were on a vacation in South America when I made that promise. 2006 will mark 50 years since Rocky Marciano announced his retirement. He was a heavyweight as heavyweight should be. 43 knockouts in 49 fights. The only heavyweight to retire undefeated as a champion. Wearing white trunks, weighing 188 and a quarter pounds, heavyweight champion of the world, Rocky Marciano. Marciano. Just say the name Rocky Marciano. It resonates strength. There's a name. Rocky Marciano, this is not going to be a piano player. This is a boxer, pure and simple. And it's even more than a boxer, Rocky. That's not a dilettante. That's a puncher. Boxing historian Bert Sugar is one of the sport's most prolific writers. We met up with Sugar in a Manhattan bar to look back on the exceptional career of one of the sport's most prolific fighters. He was a future great waiting to be great, and we all knew it coming off knockout after knockout after knockout after knockout even before Mike Tyson looked like he owned the copyright the original owner of the copyright was Rocky Marciano Marciano was born Rocco Francis Marcheggiano in Massachusetts in 1923 six years later the stock market crashed and America experienced economic collapse after dropping out of high school Marciano was later called up to serve in the US military. Although his uncle introduced him to the sport, it was during his service in World War II that Marciano first boxed extensively, winning 27 of 30 amateur bouts before turning professional in 1947. Having amassed a pro record of 37-0 against largely unknown fighters, the Brockton Blockbuster's first big-name bout was against Joe Lewis in New York's Madison Square Garden. Albeit a 37-year-old Joe Lewis. Against his boyhood idol, Marciano's heart clearly wasn't in the fight. Lewis's jab kept Rocky at bay for the opening rounds. However, the fight's outcome was obvious to most in the garden. And then finally in the eighth round, knocking him down, Lewis getting up and then knocking Lewis through the ropes. And as his head hit the apron, writers who'd covered him almost two decades worth, running up to hold his head, keep it from getting hurt. He's being helped to his feet now by referee Ruby Goldstein. And tears coming to their eyes. And they came to Marciano's too. Because he went into Lewis's dressing room after the fight. And he said he didn't want the fight, but he had to take it. Lewis understood. In a nine-year professional career, Marciano was known for his extraordinary commitment to fitness. His stamina was instrumental against Jersey Joe Walcott for the heavyweight championship of the world in 1952. The 38-year-old frustrated the rock, cutting him between the eyes and on the forehead. After 12 rounds, all three officials had Walcott ahead on points. Early in the 13th, Marciano, battered and bloodied, delivered one of the most devastating punches in boxing history. A short right, nicknamed his Susie Q. 
Rocky Marciano, the Brockton blockbuster, becomes the It took several minutes to revive Walcott. Well, last night I fought a real true champion in Jersey Joe Walcott. He proved to me what a champion is made out of. I hit him with plenty of good punches, and uh, he took them very good. Rolled with most of them. He's a very smart fighter, a durable fighter, and uh, a very great champion. I only hope that I can be as good as him. Today, jump skip 50 years, we have four, count them, four heavyweight champions. WBO, WBC, WBA, IBA, who in the hell cares, IBF. It's a good thing we only have 26 letters in the alphabet. There'd be more of these clowns. Rocky Marciano, and then Muhammad Ali, and maybe Larry Holmes afterwards, were the last vestiges of a time when the heavyweight champion and the heavyweight championship, his realm, were great. Today they are G-R-A-T-E, just great. They great everyone. Heavyweight champion of the world, Rocky Ma.